All right. How's it going, everyone? My name is Pinapa, and we are doing it again. My story began in February 1990. Welcome to Pinomrovitcher. <laughs> How would vanish from my mother's life before I was even in it? So when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard from him. And he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key. I'm gonna shut up. Please, well, I am all ready to shut up. I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. I like this sort of English. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name and myself as executor. Of course. Mayfair, yeah, that was where uh, Daniel was from, if you remember from Amnesia. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago. <gasps> oh so my freaking loud! Had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world renowned for two things physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. Unhammered and no than Glorina. Alright. It took me oh, fuck, a it's not done. to book the last flight I'd ever take. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realized my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day. And I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide, and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the twelve hour journey that would lead me into my past. Alright, so the gameplay is 12 hours, apparently. <laughs> okay, I know nothing about that. But welcome to Penumbra Overture. I can't believe I fucking do this. Uh, playing Amnesia was the scariest thing i ever done. Uh, Penumbra Overture is the same developer as Amnesia. I think you'll find it very similar. As far as gameplay mechanics go, we got the shares that we can throw. <laughs> okay, that was a good example. Well, we got notes, you know, for clues and stuff. We can throw Jack Daniels to the wall. Yeah! And we can open chests, very similar. Just throw more Jack Daniels, and uh, that's it basically. Um, it's a trilogy, and it's supposed to be really scary. You guys know the drill. Um, I'm scared already. No, I'm not really scared already. It is pitch dark in my room. I am ready to get scared. I have already played the first five minutes. And I feel like an idiot playing through them again. I don't really want to do this. I'm doing this just for you guys. Uh, I just want to, you know, keep going where I was. But I, um, I had my microphone unchecked, which is so fucking annoying. I don't know where I'm gonna begin to say it, but whatever. We had our flashlight. Instead of flashlight, we get a. No, instead of torch. No, wait. Fuck, am I talking about? Pick it up, stupid asshole. And so yeah, we can pick it there, and then we can click one, and we got a flashlight. Yeah, flash. What's up, dog? I heard like. Pin. Oh wait. Okay. Dearest Eric, just a quick note before you set sail and leave me alone again. Once again, I left you a little something to remember me by in the chest and the foot on your bed. I don't really know why you would still only have one bed on board. Taking shift because it of it is no way to get your rest. But what does a fisherman's wife know of the <laughs> at sea? I'll be praying every night. Before I forget, the Henriksen in the village have asked me to see if you would be coming by any trout. The ship's captain deserve a little special treatment. Stow them well in ice. And take care, my love. Aww, oh, love letter. Alright, so we're our name is Philip. We're in Greenland on a, some freaking boat. On a with the freaking shares in the way. And we have Canada Goose. Oh my lord, we're we're like brats and stuff. And I honestly don't remember how to leave this room. Uh oh yeah, we have a key. And in here we have Zimzalabim. We got batteries. 
And glow stick. Alright, I think we're ready to leave now. Alright. As I stepped off the boat, setting in out into the blizzard that had formed around me, I realized how utterly devoted I had been to the discovery of my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were justified, and I don't know whether I lost my orientation or my spirit. Or <laughs> Whatever. All right. Uh, that should be everything I need. I want to go back to before dark. Sorry, I'm not very enthusiastic, but I don't like replaying stuff. Alright, so, are we in this blizzard or whatever? It's really scary. I'm scared. You're scared. Uh, you're supposed to pick up a rock. And, yeah. Let's just go over here. And, no! Yeah! This is as far as I've gone. Oh, shit. I hope to God it's not frozen inside. So weak, but it just... Oh yeah, they're introducing the gameplay and stuff. Let's open this. Oh god. Can't we just stay outside? <laughs> That's creepy. Alright. Loading. <sighs> By the way guys, um, I was thinking maybe I had a camera and filming myself while I play. Um, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Some people suggested it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll have a straight face unless I'm scared. So it Oh god. What? Alright. Uh. Oh shit. I got. Oh. Okay. It's a dildo. That was steel rod. Let's move these. Ah, oh, I knew it. I knew it. A flare? Pretty cool. Let's pick it there. Oh snap! Woo! Ray party! Yeah! <laughs> I'm gonna go topless and dance in the pool. Yeah! Ray party! Okay, whatever. Oh shit! Alright. I hope, I hope the monster doesn't appear as soon. The thing is, I know nothing about this game. In Amnesia, I knew, I knew there was a monster following me. I don't know what to expect here, base. Ah, uh, uh, I thought I heard something. It's stuck. Must be something in the way. What is this? Emergency exit procedures. Oh god, I can't read it. Oh god, we're trapped. Oh god, what's down there? <laughs> All right. Must be something in here then. What is... oh. Oh, this is so hard. Can we break it with a steel rod? What? Christ, what am I thinking? SHUT UP! <laughs> Insulting... oh, there we go, a hammer. Insulting myself. Oh yeah, you can have, like, weapons in this game. Oh, look at this. Stop. Hammer time. Oh shit, I missed. <laughs> Stop. Hammer time. My... Yeah. Okay, move this further. Uh, wait, how's the lyrics? I don't know the lyrics. Stop, hammer time. Hammer freaking time! Yeah! Alright. Uh, what's up here? What's up, dog? I have a hammer. Uh, okay, a penis hole. I've seen this before. You put your penis in there. Ouch. Whoa. What the fuck? That was simple enough. Let's check here first. Hello? Hello? Shit. Oh. <laughs> I have no sense of direction, by the way. Whatever, whatever I was... <laughs> whatever I was descending into, it was 100 feet below ground. Oh, damn. Protected by two solid metal hatches. Located in a remote arc. Oh, that means we can get trapped here. Buried beneath the snow. I didn't know what to expect, but it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I never given it much thought before, but I realized that our entire society is a network of Satan. That 
emergency devices at the end of a phone line, health, safety, and safety in the workplace, friends, family, lovers, all there. If something goes wrong, part of a carefully designed structure to prevent all but the most mundane that's a weird word, of emotion. Once again I felt like I did when I was in school, surrounded by a closing ring of older kids knowing anyone that might help me. Friends, parents, teachers were too scared or too far away. Uh, I jotted. I jotted down the note. Alright, let's see what he jotted. The entrance to the caves have caved in. There must be... Oh, fuck. There could be anything... <gasps> oh... oh. <laughs> You guys know what that hint means. Oh, let me out! Oh fuck. Just, let's just take it really slowly. Penis? Oh, it's, it's false. Alright. Oh, it's a map. Okay. Perk. Oh. I'm here. Office or storage? <laughs> I remember storage from Amnesia. Fuck, I'm going. Fuck that I'm going there. Let's go to the... Oh yeah, you can lit this up. See, I know I learned from you guys. You said... <laughs> oh, I said light it up. No, lit. Did I say incorrect? I don't know. Okay, office. Nothing creepy about office. I have an office. Oh, no. That was loud. Oh. Milk? Oh, backstrand. <laughs> Oh, 15th of August, 1945, the year of World War II. Oh my freaking lord, Commander Bunker, Emergency Airstrip Zulu Weekly Report. Another unremarkable week in Greenland. The regular supply shipment received, standard RA. Uh, wow, there's like really long notes. Oh, you can pause if you want to read it, I don't know. More notes. What is this? Copenhagen Post, Monday, 7th of August, 1930. Um, by the way, cr if you want me to read all, then just tell me. Um, and I'll do it in further episodes. Researchers at the University of Copenhagen have suggested that mind-altering chemicals naturally soon into the rock. What? May be cause of high suicide rates at Greenland Mine. God damn! The university, which have recently been conducting studies in isolating communities, first became interested in workers of the northwestern lead mine last year. They discovered that uh, even talking in, taking into account Greenland's naturally high suicide rate, local figures for the last hundred years were abnormally high. <coughs> At, <laughs> I'm just kidding. At 46 deaths per okay, and average is 29. And in further investigation, expert diagnosing many of the minor symptoms in common: paranoid schizophrenia. Hypothesize that naturally possible blah 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 pH blah blah alright creepy what the fuck is it <gasps> oh yeah I remember these from amnesia a man an old man cluttering something unseen he is strange and yet he is no stranger never seen before still I know this man before me is Howard I call it my father no nope dope ugh what the hell happened what just happened? I don't <laughs> that was my translation. I don't know if that was such a good freaking idea. I don't think it was a good idea either. Let's not touch any more of those. Oh shit. Okay. How can we be so far down? Uh, I miss being outside already. This place is starting. How can we be so 100 feet down and still get so bright air? Whatever. I mean light. You're supposed to open it, Philip. Oh, I need a key. Uh, Hulk smash! Oh, okay, I know I have a key. <laughs> Alright. And in here, we find the Big Book of Explosives, 1923 edition. Materials required. Alright, string, black gunpowder, back strain. Oh, we got the back strain already, so. I guess it's a list of stuff we're gonna have to collect. As you can see, uh, yeah, like I said, the gameplays are really beef jerky. Really? Um, nom nom nom. What the fuck? I'm a charge in my beef jerky. <laughs> you can't. Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. I think I was done here anyway. <sighs> so let's go to the storage. But let's take it. <laughs> <laughs> Nope. Nope. 
I have fever. Oh fuck. Uh, already? Jesus, I've been never really scared in my life. That's for f not fucking sure. I'm sure it was scary. I can feel my heart racing if it gets within more than fever. Ah, uh, anything I feel vision for me. Hello? Hello? Let's just take it really fucking easy. Yeah.